create uh, any sound at the moment. And well, if it ain't got no sound, then it's uh, ain't in your feet or something like that. But uh, so it would be, uh, I thought it would be still nice to show you uh, my instrument, which is version 2.0 and 1.0 work, and you can listen to it on the internet, www.electrumpet.nl. So they can see version 1. This is the instrument that I wanted to talk very briefly on. It's uh, called the Electrumpet, and uh, uh, if you've seen all the other uh, instruments today, uh, I think this falls in a different category because it's still a normal trumpet. So I can just play normal trumpet on it, but I can also uh, do a lot of other things with it because it has a lot of uh, extra knobs. A normal trumpet only has three knobs, those three. And uh, as you can see, there's a lot more, and there's also some holes uh, ready to make even more knobs on it. Um, this instrument uh, I use in a normal setting, like in a band setting. I have a big band, not a traditional big band, but still a big band. And I use the instrument together with normal uh, acoustic instruments, mainly for live sampling. And everybody, I think, here knows what that is. And uh, also for some effects. And uh, what my purpose was with this instrument was to have an instrument that has the same functionality as a normal trumpet has. So when I play normal trumpet, I have these three valves, and I hold it like this. And this was the start situation for building this instrument. So everything I'm doing on this instrument, like making extra mouthpiece, just in the same place where the other one is, uh, I can use my thumb here, but still hold the trumpet in a normal way. It's uh, called a ribbon controller. Maybe some of you know it from a synthesizer. My thumb is here, and there's extra knobs here that are falling just where normally my uh, trump would be. And my left hand, uh, I hold the third valve, I normally do that as well, and there are two pressure sensors over there, and I made them myself from fabric, and you can make wonderful pressure, uh, pressure sensors from fabric. Um, so those are all on the trumpets, uh, and this is version two, because there were some problems with uh, version one. First of all, it's broken down, so I couldn't uh, do a demonstration with version one. But uh, second, um, um, it was also not so stable as this one is, and uh, it had latency. And as you probably all know, uh, when you uh, latency means that when I do uh, something, the sound comes like much later. And uh, I didn't want it, uh, and it doesn't play like a normal instrument plays when you have latency. So, uh, and that's why I also got, where I first used uh, Bluetooth, I now use the XP, and I don't know if anybody else used it today. Uh, probably some people use it in the hack workshop on, uh, of, in the workshop on Monday. And there are actually three XPs on my uh, trumpets, uh, which sends uh, data to the computer and does it directly, and this uh, makes it the late, total latency of this instrument it's less than 10 seconds, uh, 10 milliseconds. <laughs> <laughs> so, and that is just in the range that we, that, that is usable for direct playing. So I can really use it like a normal instrument uh, with the same response almost, but I, I, I don't, um, I, I can't uh, hear that for myself. So, um, well, this is what I wanted to tell about the instrument and the rest you can ask afterwards or look at the website which describes how version 1 was built, and uh, we'll describe how this version was built. Okay, okay so we'll, you, you and your instrument are covering, and, and we'll hear them another time. So, uh, do you need to set up your lights? Yeah, in a moment. Okay. Uh, my name is Matteo Marangun. I'm uh, originally from Florence, now based in The Hague. Uh, today I brought here my uh, speaker box, uh, which I will be demonstrating shortly. Um, uh, I think of them more as uh, handmade uh, performers than handmade instruments. And um, what um, what they do is they, they well, this is actually what I was thinking of just a moment ago, seeing the air marimba. Right? They have basically also they have a, a kind of invisible mallet, and uh, they uh, go and strike the, the walls of the room and your eardrums as well, so uh, I'll uh, get the stage ready for you. <laughs> um, let me hear what 
they sound like. So we'll, we're, we're transitioning the stage. So we'll keep the lights up until that's done, and then we'll bring them down. Already. Uh, while we're waiting. Things. With the um, brain activity, talking about the violence from the brain activity. Mm -hmm. Yes, so that was a yes or no question. Uh, <laughs> other questions? You know, but the question people ask a lot of the time is like, how do, how do you learn these things? This is usually a question I get. I don't know. Maybe you're all terrified and don't want to know the answer to that. Lest you get lost. Go to Stein workshops. But other, um, other. Any interesting answers to that of where people learn from or from our group? Well, we set up. Stein workshops, anyone? Stein? I meant to, uh, this year I uh, just combined uh, two things because I was uh, working with springs. So I, I said that, oh, perhaps I'm going to, uh, to combine a string with a spring and what is the sound. So the sound is very particular. And you can, uh, but the spring is not the same sound. <laughs> and I think we want to lose the lights all the way, actually.
come back in a year and see if they're, they're going inside. <laughs> I didn't get to hear all that answer because I was having another conversation, but that's, that's great, I'm sure. Uh, I'll, watch, I'll watch it on replay. Whatever you just said, I'm sure it's deeply insightful. Uh, the, <laughs> the announcement is that if, if you are going to the juggling workshop, there's not a segue into that. And speaking of space, things in space, moving through space, juggling. Uh, if, you, if any of you have planned to go to the juggling workshop, yeah, we are going to kind of release everybody in time that people can go. We're going to stay here till 5.30, but... Um, those of you who are jugg juggling, uh, we'll get to we'll get to go there in a moment. So uh, I want to thank everybody. Um, I think we're going to try this idea. I don't know if it's a good idea or not, but we're going to try it anyway. If everybody's sound is on, some of you accepted. We can't warm up our brains quickly enough to do the EEG. Um, but we'll we'll try. I wanted to hear what this sounded like as an ensemble. Um, I'm going to try conducting it for about two minutes. <laughs> we'll keep it really short, um, but we'll see what happens if we all jam as an ensemble. Let's everybody warm up and test for a second. We'll do that, and then, then we'll open it up to everybody to come. Look until 5.30, then we have to kick everybody out, but at least until 5.30 we can come and play these first, 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 first we're going to try. I'm going to try and conduct it. Everybody's sound is working? Everybody's ready? Ensemble, I hand off my Go juggle. Uh, you can come visit me at createdigitalmusic.com, and if you write to that website, it sort of reaches me. So if you have anything you feel you need to say, and a big thanks to Skies, and this great festival, and everybody who was able to come out, and all of those of you who weren't. I hope we do it again. Thanks a lot.
<laughs> yeah, I, I think the actually you could count it as a yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. 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 But actually the structure is exactly right. Okay. Um, slightly different. Now, this is in the right. I visit, I leave, I go. Throw, visit, leave, land. Throw, visit, leave, land. Does that make sense? Yeah. Nice. Everybody has that. Okay, fabulous. Does everybody has that? We need to do the other side. So, other side. See <laughs> that? Yeah. If you need, if it's too, uh, if you don't have enough time, go higher, but go faster. Go right, start, boom. Left, uh, really right, and eventually, let me show you, eventually, it's beautiful, eventually no, it goes. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's been, yeah, yeah. yeah. sometimes you go a bit too slow, and then the ball is coming down, yeah. so... You can see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Remember quick, that, that is up. And that's it, and then this side. This yes. Is the big, yeah. yes, exactly. But you don't you can always stop so Yes, nice. Everybody higher. So they they go to what you can to the same height. Yeah. I try. I try hard. Nothing left. Nothing left. Yeah, only one. <laughs> 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 could you do? Could you do only one? Can I do both? Ah, you can do both. Can do both. Yeah, that's good. Cool. So, yeah, I can only do <laughs> the the last one. Like right? the ball. If I have to throw it around it, it won't be you can do it every second. Just last, last exercise before we... Oh, oh sorry, you're the juggling tree. No, 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 you can. You don't need to do this. Um, <laughs> we, we just do the outside. Yeah. 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 Ye
Thank you. <laughs> Tatsushita Yamamoto on drum and、uh, Takuma Watanabe on keyboard, Momoyoshida special guest. Thank you so much. We're gonna drunk on tonight.